is the responsibility of an eye surgeon to ensure that there is safe handling of eye drops by the patients. Many times we have seen that the patients do not take adequate care of their eye drops and they end up having uh, allergic reactions, they end up having toxic reactions and sometimes they use the eye, eye drops inappropriately. Now the eye drops come in various sizes and shapes these days and uh, most of the eye drops that are available are what is called as form, filled and sealed technology. So they are normally, the eye, the bottle forms just before the eye drop is put into it. It gets filled in by the eye drop, then it gets sealed at the same time. Now every eye drop has got a couple of things written and most important is the expiry date. Ensure that the expiry date is long. The other thing is that there will be certain storage instructions and the instruction most of the time says keep it in a cool dry place. Now the definition of cool dry place varies from place to place but what it generally implies is a temperature of 24 degrees Celsius and in India it is not possible to have the temperature unless you are in winters. So my suggestion is that please store your eye drops on the door side of your refrigerators. Now once an eye drop has been opened, the seal has been broken, it is exposed to contamination. So please ensure that the eye drops are not kept for more than 3-4 to four weeks after they have been opened. Some people argue that uh, you know the eye drops are safe for a long time if they are kept in the refrigerator. But to be on a sheer safer side, I think it is important that you discard them after 3 weeks or so. I would throw them after 15 days because we have carried out studies which say that contamination takes place as early as 15 days. Most of the bottles are provided with a cap. This cap is supposed to be taken off only when you are instilling. After you have instilled the eye drops, the cap should be back. I have seen many times that there are a whole lot of bottles lying with the patients with no cap. Imagine a bottle which is lying open is liable to get contaminated from air. Another important thing is that when you are instilling the eye drops, ensure that the bottle is at 90 degrees and that you squeeze the bottle only when medicine has come to the nozzle. You should not be touching the nozzle at all and also ensure that the nozzle does not touch the patient's eye and there is, there should be a distance of at least 1 to 2 inches from where you should just instill the eye drop. Now it is a good practice to discard the first drop of eye from a bottle the next morning just to ensure that the nozzle is kept mechanically clean. There are many people who ask me that how many drops should be used at a time. Now if you go technically, what you require is that the drop should get dissolved in TFL and it is in microliters that you require. And one drop is sufficient. There are bottles available which are specifically designed which give a meter dose in each drop. Normally you would require one drop only and two drops many times fall into the eye which is okay. But more than that there is just a runoff. There are many patients who will complain of throat irritation following installation of an eye drop. This happens when uh, the eye drop reaches nose and gets absorbed from nasal mucosa and then a patient uh, from nose it goes into the mouth and then it irritates the mucosa of the mouth. Now in order to prevent that all you have to do is just before installation of the eye drop block the punctum at the corner of the eye. You can use your little finger ensure that there is no nail that the nail has been paired properly. All you have to do is put a small pressure onto the punctum so that the punctum is closed and instill the eye drop on the cornea and take a slight lateral turn so that any excessive eye drop will get run off from the towards the size of the side of the ear and not nose. This is a good way to prevent eye drop from reaching your nose and throat. There are many people who ask me why is it that uh, I insist on throwing away the bottles once they are opened after 15 days or so. My logic is simple, that all these eye drops 
have got preservatives in different concentrations. Once you open the bottle, contamination takes place and there is a re-sterilization of the contents. Now with the passage of time, this re-sterilization, the sterilization potential of the bottle is going to get reduced. So why take a chance? Just throw the bottle away after 15 days or so. And in order to increase the shelf life of the bottles, many companies increase the concentration of preservatives which make them a little unsafe because they will cause more stinging and they will cause more re hyperemia or redness of the eyes. As the times are changing, we are moving towards what is known as unitary threat therapy and what are available are junims which are meant for a single use or use in a day's time. And I'm going to demonstrate one of these uh, available unims to you. In order to open the unim, you just have to twist the unim like this and the cap separates. Now in order to instill the eye drop, you have to invert the unim completely at 90 degrees and once you find that the eye drop has reached the nozzle, you just have to simply press for the drop to escape. Now there are unims which are to be used only once, but then there are unims which can be used for the same day by recapping them. And recapping is very, very simple. You hold the unim in your hand, take the cap and keep it at 90 degrees and press hard. It will get stuck like this. This you can keep safely in your pocket or uh, at a place which is away from dust and you can use it for the same on the same day. The same unim cannot be used the next day, should not be kept overnight. There are many people who ask me where to keep their contact lenses, contact lens solutions and eye drops. So first thing is that eye drops should be on the door side of the refrigerator. Second is that the contact lens solutions and contact lenses should be away from cosmetics, should be away from oils, should be away from talcum powder, should be away from books as well. Books have got a lot of spores in them and every time you're dusting a book, you're opening a book, a lot of spores are going to fall out of it and it is going to lead to contamination. So make sure that your contact lenses and your contact lens solution is at a place away from your uh, dressing table and away from your library as well.